Hello, Facebook. Hello, Essential Stencils. I hope you guys um, are able to catch this live. I know it's 11 o'clock, um, my time here in Missouri. I'm Melissa with Miller's Rustic Sawmill, and I'm gonna give this a few minutes just to see who's gonna hop on and join me. Um, we are back on Essential Stencils page this morning. Um, I call it morning. It's really not morning, it's almost noon, but um, it's 11 o'clock here in Missouri. Um, and I know probably a lot of you might have to catch this on the replay or catch it at work, but uh, this is my second time going live um, during the day at 11. And I think it's gonna work out really well for several of us. Um, it's not late at night. Um, a lot of times I'm on at eight o'clock and it, those go kind of late for some of us that um, have to get up the next morning. Oh, hello, there we go. Hey, you guys, definitely. Hi, Sherry. Um, if you're hopping on and you're joining today, say hi, let me know where you're watching from. Hi, Karen, good to see you. Um, hi, Mimi, hello. You guys, um, like I said, this is my second time going on during the daytime, and um, I'm hoping that uh, we still have the views um, that we usually do on the evenings. We're gonna kind of alternate every other week. So you can catch us on Tuesdays on Essential Stencil, either at 11 or at eight o'clock at night. So um, thank you guys for watching. There's several of you hopping on. I wasn't sure. Um, first of all, I've been in Facebook jail for about a week. And um, I know that Essential Stencil had some technical difficulties with their page, so we've all kind of had some things going on. I've never been in Facebook jail before, um, but apparently I was put into jail for liking too many things on our page, which is just ridiculous. Um, I had done my last Essential Stencil video on our Miller Rustic Sawmill page, and um, I go back through, as you guys know, um, I can't always keep up with all of the comments. So I do try to go back through, I read the comments, and um, try to answer questions, try to reply. So I was going through and liking all of these comments on our page, and the next thing you know, um, I'm kind of shut down from Facebook. So I was, Facebook is just weird. It's, it's crazy, it's ridiculous, but um, uh, probably also on me, you know, I know that there are rules for using Facebook and, and things like that, but I thought, geez, I think what happens is that Facebook is so automated. I think that they, um, they thought that I was a robot or something hacking into my page. So I get that it's for protection, but, um, yeah, it was just super annoying, so annoying. So, um, anyway, I'm gonna try in the future to not do things, hi Joyce, um, that are gonna land me in Facebook jail. If you guys hop on um, and you can spread this by um, hitting the uh, share button, I know I'm not supposed to say share, apparently too, that can get you in Facebook jail. I'm learning all of this. But, um, if you will, you know, definitely share this video with your friends. And um, also on the Essential Stencil, if you hit the little bell, I think that there may be a bell on this video. Um, they are trying something different where they are now sending out emails to notify you guys um, about our lives. So we're trying to get on a schedule. We're trying to get on something so that you guys know when we're all going to be on. So um, anyway, I just wanted to kind of throw that out there too. But um, yeah, Jill, I believe that. Um, I just told somebody yesterday that if if Bucky and I were on here quite a bit, um, <laughs> we would probably be in Facebook jail all the time because uh, Bucky likes to say what he thinks and I'm probably the more reserved one. And um, yeah, we, we, would be in, we would be in Facebook jail a lot, but um, that's okay. I am uh, sitting here, I'm in King City, Missouri. For those of you who are first time watchers, if you haven't ever watched any of my videos, thank you for watching. Thanks for coming to Essential Stencil. Thanks for um, sharing this. And um, if you're a first time watcher, welcome. I'm Melissa and I am with Miller, Miller's Rustic Sawmill. I have a little bit of a cold. It snowed here last night. Um, not like a little bit of snow, but 
there is still snow on the ground outside, which is just crazy. Um, so not ready for the snow, snow, so not ready for any of that. So, oh, there's Anita. Oh my goodness, you guys. Um, Anita is on here. So I'm gonna have a shout out to you because Anita and her friend Jolie came to our slab sale on Saturday. We have now met several people who found us here on these lives and have come to our sawmill. So if you wanna know more about our business, um, you, you'll have to go over to our sawmill page, Miller's Rustic Sawmill. But Anita and her girlfriend were um, cruising by our sawmill, so I have to tell this. Um, and they were actually trying to find where we were located so that they could come to the sale the next morning. And um, they happened to drive by. We were over, our sawmill is located out in the country and it sits out north of, north of our town and off gravel roads and Google will take you some crazy ways to it sometimes. So um, we're cleaning up, we're literally, you know, stacking our project pieces, um, sweeping, finishing up, getting things ready for customers for the next morning in this car. I kind of see it drive by and then we see, you know, this car pull in. Well, these two ladies were trying to find um, our mill so then they could go stay somewhere and come back the next morning for our sale. And it was Anita and her friend. So um, we just, uh, we let them go ahead and shop our sale. We, they were there, there was no way we were gonna send them away and tell them that they couldn't have the slab sale prices and, and stuff like that. But Anita and uh, her friend were so sweet. And Anita is a multiple time cancer survivor and very, strong, uh, strong woman, I, I can tell. And um, she shared with me that she and another sweet young girl are starting um, a business where they are doing signs and painting signs um, to kind of uh, maybe help some people through their cancer journeys too. So that just, uh, it just made my week to have them stop by, to hug them, to take a picture with them, to meet them, to know that they were gonna go spend, you know, the rest of their weekend in Kansas City and hang out and have a girls weekend, but oh my gosh, um, they were they were just awesome, awesome ladies. Uh, what Anita is doing, um, you know, with her gift and her survival stories and sharing those with people um, is just uh, very close to my heart, so um, I, loved having them come by. I loved Anita sharing that story. I loved giving them hugs. I loved just uh, being able to connect with the people that we're meeting on our Facebook Lives. So um, each of you, if you have goals to come to our sawmill, we would love to have you come um, one day. I know it's a trip for so many of you, but um, definitely I think that God connects people for reasons. I think that he can use business sometimes to uh, kind of intertwine people together. And if by Anita coming to our shop and our mill and buying those project pieces for, you know, $5 a piece on our slab sale day helps her in her business and her journey with, with what she's doing, then, you know, I couldn't be more blessed. We couldn't be more blessed as a business. So I just wanted to share that. I know I'm long-winded. Everyone likes to give me a hard time that I talk a lot, which I do, um, but it was by far uh, just a very, very cool and touching story um, that I, I, I did. I shared a post even on our, on our page about it, and I just couldn't. I, I sat down, and I, I really tried to um, find the right words, and I, I really had trouble even finding the right words to, um, to share that post because, you know, whenever you see people, they message you and you feel like you kind of get to know your, your people. You guys are kind of my people. And um, then whenever, you know, someone shows up at your business and, and tells you what they're doing with, you know, what they have going on and, and to be a multiple cancer survivor, you know, God just still has purpose. So God uses each of us um, the way that he wants to, whether we want him to sometimes or not. And, you know, to connect Anita to us that way, um, I just 
hope that it blesses what she and this girl are doing too. So um, yeah, it was fantastic. And I could not ask for a better sale, you know, from for our business, from, from meeting her and her friend Jolie. So they were so sweet and I hope that they come back. Um, anyway, you guys, um, it is, it's inspiring stuff. And there are stuff like that happening in this world every day that, um, you know, the media and other places don't show. So I am, we feel very blessed to uh, be able to connect with you guys on this level and Essential Stencil gives us the platform and the opportunity to, um, to connect with people. Yeah, they drove a long way. Oh my gosh, Linda. Um, God is great. They, they just did. And they actually, um, they, I had them make our first directional sign. So if you guys have watched very many of our videos, I've decided I'm starting a directional sign for our shop. And, um, so people that are coming from over maybe 50 to a hundred miles away, we're going to have them put their town, they're going to sign it and we're going to put the distance on there. So they have, they made our very first directional sign. And I, even though we've had others come from far away, we hadn't started that yet. So, um, we can get that done, but we're going to have to have those people come back so that they can sign their directional sign. Um, so yes, um, that was something that was really cool too. They signed it. I'm gonna wood burn it, and I'm gonna finish it, and it'll it'll go out on our and it'll go out on our post and uh, outside of our shop. So whenever people come and visit um, from now on, if they're from you know very far away, they're gonna get to uh, pull out a piece of lumber. I'm gonna write it on there. They're gonna sign it, and um, we'll put the distance and then we'll wood burn it. So that's something that I was super excited about to start with them, and it was it was perfect. So anyway, um, what I'm doing today, you guys, um, if you watched my last live, hi Donna, um, this is what I did on my last live. Uh, a lot of you were on here, so I'm using the opposite part of this. This um, did not turn out like this because of me. This turned out like this because of you guys. Um, you kept telling me and giving me suggestions saying, put some snow here, put some snow there, put some glitter there. This was all you guys. I used the stencil and then I added to it. And it turned out super adorable. So um, anyway, you guys, I'm doing the other side tonight if you don't have the truck it was on the pre-order I believe all of the pre-orders are going to be shipped out by the end of the day today so if you don't have yours it should be coming in the mail soon and um, this one did turn out super cool so it just goes to show sometimes whenever you think that um, you know you are just using a stencil if you um, we did have so much fun this night, you guys. I had a blast that night. I like to freehand paint too. So um, sometimes I feel like whenever I use these stencils, I kind of just get stuck in stencil mode. But this goes to show um, how much you can add to it. And you guys, if you were on here that night, if not, you can go back and rewatch this one. But um, I was painting this upside down. So there was absolutely no uh, no rhyme or rhythm to what I was doing that night. I was just slapping on the paint. And it might not look like it, but um, I really was. So if you wanna go back and watch that video, I was painting upside down just like this so you guys could see what I was doing. I loved that video too, Shelly. It was fun. And this sign is just beautiful. So, um, Yes, I am feeling better. Thank you so much. I'm glad you guys are on. I'm glad to see so many people watching during the daytime. I like the daytime. I think it's kind of fun. It might give me the opportunity also to talk a little bit longer. I know some of you might be watching at work. Put in your earplugs. Put me on mute. I don't know. <laughs> go back and um, go back and rewatch if you have to. But yes, this was a fun, fun night. I thoroughly enjoyed this and um, this was you guys this this happened this beauty on this board happened because of my audience and you guys were just giving out suggestions and I just went with it and we just kept going 
and I finally, um, you know, called it good. So I put a little bit of glitter, put a little bit of white paint, and it just made it pop. It is beautiful. It's one of my favorites in here right now, too. So anyway, it just goes to show if you get done with your stencil, sit there and think about it for a little bit. Go back and watch our, watch my live, and um, you can do it. So um, a lot of you are asking about Bucky's mom. Bucky's mom um, actually passed away last week, so um, I was going to try not to talk about it, um, but yeah, we, um, it was, it was a long week last week, so, um, we are, lost her last Friday, so, um, we were kind of prepared for that, so it has been a long week with, um, him and his sisters and the family and decisions that had to be made, but anyway, we are going to be celebrating her life. She's an amazing woman, raised some amazing kids. Um, had amazing values and we are definitely gonna miss her a lot so um, anyway thank you um, thank you thank you I uh, I know several of you um, ask about her and a lot of you knew that she was in the hospital and had been in the hospital and um, anyway that is uh, you know we we know where she's at so um, I like to say that, you know, that they're the only peace in death, I think, is in your salvation and knowing where that lies. So um, when you know that, it, it doesn't make death so scary. It makes it, um, you know, very peaceful. And to know that uh, we will get to see her again. So um, that, is, that is something that is very important. But thank you for the prayers. I definitely will tell him. Uh, I don't know if he's going to stop by today. He was just here, but he's kind of on a mission and uh, doing some things today that are kind of important. So um, anyway, thank you for all of the condolences and thank you for the prayers and um, just uh, know that, uh, you know, she's an awesome woman. Um, yeah. So anyway, I'm going to, I'm going to move on. And thank you guys. I appreciate all of that. All of that for sure. The prayers and um, the kind words. You guys are you guys are so sweet. So sweet. Um, talk about her last something happened. She had been in the hospital um, for quite a while. Honestly, about 29 days. So um, whenever we lost her, uh, it was kind of also her decision too. She'd been on dialysis for... For many years and uh, we were just kind of at a crossroads where there wasn't much more that could be done and um, after the kids had kind of made that decision so did she so um, yeah no more suffering no more uh, you know she also was on a mission to um, go be with her husband who uh, we lost Bucky's dad in July and she just has not been the same since then so um, you know, uh, they've been married for a very, very long time, been together, and um, it, it's just, you know, not easy whenever you lose your partner. So um, she, she kind of, she was ready for that too. So you can't blame her. Cannot blame her. Um, okay, so I'm going to get started on the other side of this today, you guys. I have this blank slate. Um, this is a board from our mill. Just so you know, I have done nothing to it. It is, um, it is just blank. Um, my code, if you are ordering, you guys, is MRS2019. There's also a link at the top of this video. Um, if you follow that link, you're going to save 10% on your orders. Today, I am using this oldie but a goodie. Um, it is um, this three-pack. So these are bigger stencils, you guys. I'm using this one. It has um, Baby It's Cold Outside, Merry and Bright, and Let It Snow. These are 12 by 16 stencils, you guys. Um, these are larger. You can tell by my upper body. They take up about, you know, my upper body. So um, you would ask me the size of this board, Linda. Um, my tape measure is out at the sawmill because I have been out there working a lot cutting some stuff. So I will have to measure the size of this board. 
Um, obviously, it is not the size of my stencil. Um, the stencils are a little bit wider. So um, the stencils in this three pack are um, 12 by 16. So they are larger stencils. They are very, um, very cool. And I am actually, uh, I'm gonna be using the baby it's cold outside because it's freaking cold outside today in Missouri, in King City, Missouri. It's not supposed to be like this right now. Not here, not yet. Um, you know, everybody up north, Wyoming, Wisconsin, the Dakotas, okay, yeah. King City, Missouri. Not yet, just not yet. It's cold, it's cold. Um, so I'm using BB It's Cold Outside and I am I am Geneva. We are gonna give away some stencils. Thank you for the reminder. Um, we will be giving away three um, sets of stencils and Essential Stencil will choose those stencils, but we will pick three random winners. Hi Debbie from Indiana, thanks for watching. Mimi used, used it last night. Last night would have been perfect here too to use it because it was cold last night. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, we will be giving away three stencils. So um, this one is a three pack. So this has Baby It's Cold Outside. It has Merry and Bright. And of course it has Let It Snow, which I don't know where my Let It Snow is. I, I could not find it this morning. I was looking for it, but it also has Let It Snow. And um, I have used it obviously, and I've laid it somewhere, and I don't know where it's at. But this is a three pack, you guys. These are, these are awesome. I use these on some of our bigger boards. They make great stencils for Christmas for sure. Um, anyway, that is the three pack. I'm gonna be using the Baby It's Cold Outside. So it has Merry and Bright, and it also has these little fun, you know, snowflakes. You could use these anywhere on any other boards that you want to. So um, just keep that in mind. And the same with the Merry and Bright, and the Let, it, um, the Let It Snow also has some snowflakes on it. But this little, uh, you know, this little thing right here, the holly, the greenery, the pine, um, you can use those on, you can mix and match. So, hi Gail from Greenville. This is where I'm gonna start talking fast because I feel like I gotta play catch up because we just need to have a chat session sometimes. I just like to talk. Um, okay, so this is what I'm using today. Uh, let me see, let me see. You guys stick with me. I'm trying to remember everything that I needed to say um, about, obviously, the stencils. Somebody reminded me, thank you. Um, yes, we're giving away some stencils. There will be three winners. Stick it out with me if you can to the end of the video. Um, I'm gonna try to not paint quickly, but I'm gonna try to stencil. So, and get some stenciling done so you guys can see what I'm doing. Um, also, if you order and you wanna, order this set, you can save 10% by ordering through the link at the top of this video, or you can use code MRS2019. Um, that is our code to save 10% on your orders too. So um, if you are, if you are um, asking questions and I don't answer them right now, usually I have my husband Bucky in here helping me, um, and he's really good at watching the questions. He's not with me in here today, but um, definitely, uh, I do try to go back and read them. I do try to answer them. And you can also message me um, on our Miller Trustic Sawmill page. If you haven't liked us over there, go like us, go follow us. We do stuff over there too. And um, sometimes uh, in the future, I'll probably just be going on and doing some lives, question and answer and rambling because I'm good at that. So um, hi from Texas. I wish I was in Texas today. Um, I'm going to start out with my board today and I'm going to show you guys, um, yeah, it's a very light color. Um, it's a very light piece of wood I'm using. I think it's cottonwood. I'm not 100% sure. I should know, but I I'm almost positive it's cottonwood. Um, somebody just said, who was that? Suzanne Williams, um, you definitely are somebody who should try those. You should try the stencils if you haven't. You're from Laurel, Mississippi. Um, you should try them. 
and give them a shot. So if you haven't tried them, you would love them. I am going to tell you that I absolutely love the quality. I love the product. I love the shipping. I love the packaging. They have really nice brushes. For those of you who are looking at um, finding some good stencil brushes, um, their brushes are awesome. I have some right here. If you didn't know that they had brushes, they have a set of four. Um, these are the sizes that you get and they have this nice handle. They're nice and sturdy. Um, I'm actually gonna use them today. Uh, so I don't use the brushes very often, but I am today because this is kind of a good size. I like to use the stencils on, or the stencil brushes on. So I will be using my stencil brushes from Essential Stencil today. Um, I know I'm seeing some questions Shoot fire, you guys. Um, I'm sorry Bucky's not in here with me to do it today. I'm I'm gonna have to go back, or maybe Essential Stencil if they're on here, uh, we can get your questions answered. But if they're about um, if they're about my board or anything else that I'm using today, um, I will also try to send out a list um, so that you guys can get that. I'm I'm keeping it really simple today. A lot of times I like to tell people that if you're trying to start a business or you're trying to start something. I'm gonna scoot this back a little. Um, you don't have to have a ton of supplies. So um, I am going to actually dry brush this board before I stencil it. So um, I am using just a simple white paint. And I said dry, br dry brush. What I meant to say was um, whitewash. So whitewash or color wash, you can color, call it either one. Um, I'm going to, I just thought I was going to do it in white. I am. I'm going to do it in white. So I'm going to use, I'm going to show you how to whitewash. If you don't know how to whitewash, it's similar to a stained look, but I'm taking a little bit of paint and um, I'm going to get a little bit of water. I've got some water in this. I use milk glass. I love milk glass. I have an addiction to milk glass. Um, it's all around my shop and I use it for painting. It's just pretty, so why not? Um, but I'm gonna get a little bit of water. So I'm gonna set this here, so hopefully you can see how many times I dip in. And um, yes, thank you guys for the list. If you would like to have the list, you can see here, I'm just kind of making this like a water paint, like watercolors whenever you were a kid. Um, you know, you used to dip your water into your watercolors and your praying water paints. So that's kind of what I'm doing here. And I'm just thinning it down with water. And I'm painting my board. Um, I'm gonna paint it and whitewash it. I know it's already kind of light, but I'm gonna give it kind of a uniform look. And I'm just slapping this on here. It's gonna soak into my wood and that's okay. Um, I'm not doing it neatly. So the, sometimes people ask me, you know, how much is too much water? Um, I just play with it. You can see here I'm making it really, really runny on my plate. If you guys aren't sure um, and you wanna watch and the comments are bothering you, swipe the comments to the right. And um, so all I'm doing right now is just whitewashing this. And by whitewashing, I'm using white paint, acrylic paint, and um, just a little bit of water. And I'm gonna spread my paint out across this board in um, really no neat fashion, just kind of however I want to. So color washing, if you use color washing, it's the same effect but with color, with color paint. So whenever you hear people talking about these fancy terms of white washing or color washing, just keep that in mind. It's nothing fancy, it's just water and paint. So I am just slapping this across here. I am going to, you can make it heavier than you, you know, than I am if you like. And I'm not doing it neatly. I'm just using a fat, you know, a thicker brush like this. It does make a great paintbrush holder with these little um, round things around the end. I buy those at the thrift store. We have the coolest little thrift store here in town where everything is a quarter. So if you do come for any of our slab sales ever, um, keep that in mind. We have a little thrift store and everything in that thrift store is a quarter. So um, I sometimes find some really 
cool finds in the thrift store that I bring to the shop and I use just to make the painting pretty and make it fun. Um, it does hold up well thinning it. It's just making the background for my sign. Um, and the thing about the sign is more than likely it's gonna go inside. So, you know, I can also seal it if I want to seal this sign, but um, it's really soaking into um, my wood because the wood I'm using is also, it's kiln dried wood from our sawmill. So um, it's taking on the, uh, the, the paint kind of like a stain. I'm not an expert in painting. I'm not a professional anything. I am just somebody who is not afraid to, to try some things. So um, the whitewash, uh, you can do this technique. I've done it on many different things. I have done a lot of different projects over the years um, just because um, I'm thrifty. Uh, my mom and I are both pretty, uh, I think, pretty handy whenever it comes to uh, doing um, some projects. And my mom used to redo furniture and stain. And so I think, you know, between her and my aunt and some of the family stuff that we've always done, I just kind of have a knack for um, just kind of jumping in and trying something. Sometimes you just never know. So um, the whitewash is super easy. You can, um, you can use a color, like my uh, daughter Mackenzie is um, wanting some shelves in her room and she we're gonna color wash them with purple. So they'll, it'll almost look like a stain once we get done with it. Um, it just, I'm kinda letting some of my wood grain show through. Um, if you wanted to paint your board solid, you wouldn't have to add any water to it at all. So, um, I don't like to try new things, Lisa. Uh, you know, sometimes um, sometimes it's kind of freeing. You know, I I have a lot of times people ask me things and I don't know the answer to, and I'm like, mm, I'm gonna have to try that sometime. For instance, somebody just asked me the other day if you could seal your boards and then paint on them. And, you know, with the Thompson's water sealer, I. Honestly, I don't know why you couldn't. I haven't done it yet. So that's next on my list. So I told her, I said, you know, I really don't know. Uh, I don't know why you couldn't seal the board first and then do your stenciling. I, I don't know what would happen. And I, you know, if somebody else knows, then they might be able to answer that question, but I haven't done it yet. So I'm, I'm just kind of always kind of have the attitude that, no, I don't want to mess things up but uh, it's paint and um, I can always paint back over it. Maybe, you know, you don't always have time, but um, you know, if you're on a time crunch and you're making something for somebody or I also know that in business time, you know, is money. So if you are doing this as a business, do what you know, do what's safe, do what's not gonna take up a bunch of time so you're redoing. Today, I'm having fun and um, I can kind of show you because uh, you know I'm here on this video, so it kind of gives me the opportunity to sometimes do things that I don't normally get to do as well. So um, I appreciate the opportunity to come on here and try new things sometimes, or show you these things that maybe you're afraid to do. And I'm just taking my water, you guys. You can do this right on your board even if you want to. So um, there's nothing neat really about it. You can see I'm just even taking my water and you can thin it down even a little bit more if you get too much on there. I'm not even dipping in my paint. So, um, Ashley, the stencils are not sticky back. They are reusable stencils. So, um, oh, I'm so glad someone just said they're so excited. Um, so you will wipe them clean and I can show you that whenever I get done. Right now, I'm just kind of whitewashing this board that I'm using, and I'm kind of giving it just a whitewash background. So I'm done with that. Um, you can see, this is how it looks. You can still kind of see the wood grain through there, you guys. Can you see that? So it's not solid. Very simple, just a simple background. And I agree, the painting, is relaxing you guys and this other side that we did I 
I'm like, if I could paint like that with a crowd on here every night, it was awesome. I had fun. I had a lot of fun. So whenever um, I'm on here with you guys and you guys give me suggestions and I can read them, um, sometimes if I take those into consideration and then we just try it, it shows you that, you know, you don't have to be perfect. Nothing has to be perfect. There was nothing perfect about the other side of this board that we did on that video. Um, I just winged it. And sometimes those turn out the absolute best. So I'm gonna let that dry. Obviously, um, doing whitewash, it doesn't have very much paint. So I still have glitter on here from the other side of my board because it's, um, it has glitter on it. So some of that glitter kind of um, is coming off. Is the video of the truck sign on your page? I think it's on um, Miller's Rustic Sawmill page, if I remember right. I think this is the one that I did on our page. So if you haven't liked um, Miller's Rustic Sawmill, that's who I'm with. Um, and you can find that video there. And um, thank you. I Will you show the other side? Joanne, you did miss the beginning. This was the other side. So this is what the other side looks like. And a lot of times I'm terrible at finishing the other side. So I just made the decision, you know, I've had people ask me about the sign already wanting to buy it. And um, I decided that uh, I'm not selling it until the other side is finished. So <laughs> anyway, um, and I think Essential Sense will just put, the, um, just put the link up to the other video where I did this. So if you guys are interested in seeing how much fun this was, I painted this, I did the stencil, and then I painted it upside down so you guys could see nothing fancy you guys can all do this you go back and watch that video and you want yours to come out looking like this watch that video i promise you you can do it um so that is the other side somebody asked what i mean by kiln dried um so a good way to explain kiln dried is kiln dried wood we run a sawmill business um, whenever you run a sawmill business, you can sell what's green lumber, where it's just cut off the log um, and cut into boards. Or you can, um, so that has moisture in it. That moisture is going to come out of that wood. Um, we put our lumber, our wood, our slabs into a giant, almost looks like a garage, okay? Um, it, and it heats up. And we've got fans and air movement. There's a system to it. And it sucks buckets of moisture, literally five gallon buckets of moisture out of the wood that goes into our kiln. So when we open our kiln, we put a moisture tester on there and it's 8% or below is what we dry it to. So there is 8% moisture or below in our wood. And that means that it's been dried, we've sucked all the water and the moisture out of it, and whenever you finish that piece, it's not gonna warp, it's not gonna crack, the moisture isn't gonna keep coming out of it. We've killed all of the open cells of the wood, basically, so that they can't hold moisture anymore. So that's what kiln dried means, and um, in a nutshell, <laughs> it means uh, that the, the wood has been dried. So if you have questions about that, follow us on our sawmill page and message me there. Um, I have some videos on our page too that kind of answer some of that too because I go out to our mill sometimes and I do walk arounds and I try to explain some of the, the wood process on our end. So um, Joanne, yes, I think that they answered the question about pre-orders. Um, I think that they are all actually going to be mailed out by the end of the day today, possibly. Um, the discount, Vanessa, is 10%. Um, you'll save. So maybe we could go on a live sawmill field trip. Cindy, I do have live um, videos over there. So definitely um, check that out. And um, 
if you go over to our sawmill page, there are some videos over there where I do walk around our mill and I show off some of our wood and I talk about it sometimes in detail and explain a lot of that over there. So um, anyway, check us out over there. We're almost to hit 4,000 likes on our Miller's Rustic Sawmill page. So I'm excited about that too. Um, ah, thank you, you guys. Um, so what I'm using today is the baby it's cold outside because it's super cold here in King City, Missouri. And obviously this does not fit. You can see it doesn't fit. Oh, Joanne, they are beautiful pieces. I'm glad you like them. Um, so I'm gonna have to make this fit and I'm going to just kind of space it out so that I know it fits and I'm gonna pick out a blue um, I was trying to decide between blues and you guys um, for those of you that know me I usually shake up my stuff and I will take um, I will take off my lids and I just kind of lay my lids down like this you can see right here um, I've got a bright blue is what it's called it's apple barrel brand I've got two blue which is not much different and then I've got a true navy. So, um, oh yeah, no bugs. You're right. Um, I don't ever, t I don't really mention that part, but that is that is so true. There are no, so the kiln also kills anything in that wood. It gets really hot in that kiln. Nothing is going to survive those temperatures. So if there's bugs or wood in that wood, or um, if it's ash, sometimes there's bugs in the ash. You know, it all gets killed. So. Um, Ashley, yeah, we are, I don't know where you're at in Iowa, but yeah, surely we're not too far if you're in Iowa. Um, so I've got three colors I've laid out and I'm just kind of looking at them on my board. This is sometimes what I do. And if I'm trying to pick out other colors, I will lay the lids out on whatever I'm using. And I just kind of look at them and I look at the tones. I kind of try to keep sometimes the tones in the same tone. Um, stuff like that so anyway got my question I don't know if you have the right link sign I'm looking I'm looking I'm looking at this Teresa oh okay your question was for essential stencils so okay um good Vanessa you just ordered that's awesome um so I have my colors out and um, I am going to be picking which colors to use. So if you guys have any suggestions, I know you can't really see these, but this is what I do. So um, this is how I do it. I just look at these and I kind of decide which one do I think I want to use on my stencil. And today I think I'm going to totally use... Um, the bright blue. So, um, Carlisle, you said is about two hours from Lineville. I don't know anything in Iowa. I'm sorry. I would have to look it up on the map for sure. Um, definitely. Bev, you're waiting on your first order to arrive. Fantastic. Now I'm just reading the comments. I'm so sorry, you guys. <laughs> Can't wait to get this stencil. I'm hoping the new stencils will be here tomorrow. This is gonna be so cute. It is gonna be cute, and it's really simple. Um, so basically two colors of paint, you guys. Um, blue and white. So that's something, too, I try to tell people if you keep it simple, just, you know, just keep it simple. So um, I'm gonna go with um, not the navy. I've I know that that would look good, but I'm not going to do the navy. And um, I'm just trying to decide between these two. I'm going to go, I think, with, uh, do you guys have suggestions? Can you see how different those are? They're slightly different. It may not show up on your end. This is um, the bright blue. And this is the two blue, T-O-O. -O. So, yes. Um, you guys have suggestions for bright blue? or I'm gonna use this one. So, um, 
Doesn't look like much of a difference. I know, Brandy. I know they don't. There's just a little bit of a tonal difference it looks like. I think I'm gonna go with the two blue. I think it's a little bit more bold. And look, you guys are agreeing with me and I didn't even see. Awesome, okay. I like the bright blue too. Um, no, a lot of you are saying bright, 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 bright. Ooh, you guys. Now you're throwing me off. Everyone's saying bright. Bright blue, bright blue. I don't really think it's gonna make a huge difference. So we'll do the bright. I've got so many bright blues. The two blue is a little darker. Maybe I'll use that underneath my, um, underneath my snowflakes if I put some snowflakes on there. Okay, so we'll go with the bright. I had a lot of bright, so we'll go with that. I think it's pretty. I couldn't decide. I like them both, they're gonna be good. Oh, someone's at ombre. Ooh, that's a great idea. I've not done ombre. Maybe I'll have to try that sometime. I would like that. Um, so I am going to do baby and then it's cold outside. I'm going to try to fit it all on here because I'm pretty sure I've checked it. And um, hi, Kathy from Ohio. Hello. Yeah, I've got plenty of space to fit cold and outside along that bottom. So, um, I couldn't decide if I was gonna do, how exactly I was gonna do it. Baby, it's... Actually, I might do baby in the middle with the it's and then cold outside along the bottom. What do you guys think about that? I think I might do that. I think I might do, I think I've got space. It might be a little bit crowded. I just can't quite tell. Whenever you're dividing up your signs, sometimes it's just kind of a risk. So I think I'm gonna stick with baby it's and be safe. I'm gonna play it safe and I'm gonna do baby it's and then cold outside. So we're gonna split it up into two. So I know I am backwards. One day you guys, someday when my phone blows up on me, and is no longer of use, I will get a new phone. <laughs> I am old school and I am sorry, you know, maybe I should um, dive into a new phone that has a different camera on it. It might be good for our business for many reasons, but I, I hate getting a new phone. I'm probably one of the only people in the world, um, yes, I will, Tilt that down, Ashley. Um, I'm gonna try not to make it fall. Give me just one second and I will tilt it down. Um, I hate getting a new phone. Anytime that my phone is, um, I've had to replace it, I hate it. So, um, I, I have a backwards camera and I'm really sorry. Um, I know that my wording is backwards and it's not enjoyable on your end. <laughs> but uh, we'll see. Sometime, I, I've thought about getting another phone. I just, I'm old fashioned. So, okay. I will try to attempt to tilt this down. I haven't touched it yet because I'm, I'm gonna try to use both hands because um, I am gonna try to not make it fall so let me let me do this and see if I can get it tilted give me one second I'm not real savvy okay so that might be a little bit better hopefully that works um, and I'm gonna have to hold this up against me a little bit so I've got the baby and I am gonna be using my essential stencil brushes today so I think if you have if you've watched me or if you haven't, um, you know that I don't use the brushes a whole lot. I'm a huge fan of makeup wedges and rollers. But um, today I am gonna be using the 5 8 brush from Essential Stencil. These are amazing brushes and I love them. So um, I think probably several of you have heard my spiel on um, different, um, 
I gotta grab something really quick and I'm gonna show you another tip. Let me grab it real quick. I wasn't super prepared with this piece, um, but I don't use the brushes a lot. Um, so, uh, I, but I do love them. Uh, you know I'm all about thrifty, Dollar General, Dollar Tree, Dollar anything. I am a dollar girl. I'm all about saving money. But um, these brushes are by far the best brushes. I love them, love them, love them. So I cannot tell you enough. So um, the trick to stenciling anything that you're stenciling, um, you, some of you message me, some of you ask me um, what you're doing wrong. Sometimes you send me pictures. And, um, you know, without having you in front of me, it's really hard sometimes. So if you're ever um, able to catch me live and you can be prepared and get your stuff out, um, you know, maybe sometime you can do it with me and we can try it. And um, not that I could see, I guess, what you're doing, but sometimes it's helpful if you're, if you're doing it right whenever I'm doing it or you go back and watch the video. But um, I always say that you wanna make sure you offload, offload, offload. And by offload, I mean you don't have very much paint on whatever you are using. If it's the brush, if it's the makeup wedge, if it's a roller, or if you have another technique. Um, you just don't wanna have very much paint. So I have acrylic paints. I sometimes use Waverly chalk paints. Those are my favorite, those are my go-tos. Um, how I keep it from bleeding is to turn around the board. Oh, smart. You're so smart. Okay, I'm going to try. Um, so how I keep it from bleeding is to um, definitely offload my paint. So like I just said, whatever, I'm, whatever it is I'm using, I try to offload my paint and um, by offload, I mean I get very little paint on there. So anyway, what I'm gonna do with this little square, these little pieces come in your packaging. If you have not gotten um, any stencils from Essential Stencil, they have these little cardboard things that come in their packaging. I reuse them. Um, I, you know, I'm sure there are many different uses for them, but um, I use them sometimes just to cover up instead of taping off. So you can see right here um, that I am holding this right underneath my stencil to cover up the it's so I don't get anything on there. So um, I'm gonna dip my paint in and I've got that covered up. I've got some little snowflakes up here. I think I'm gonna be safe on those, but sometimes I just use this as a barrier so that I'm not getting paint all over my the other part of my stencil and bleeding into it. So um, it wouldn't be a big deal if that word was going there, but it's not. So I'm gonna show you. Okay, so I'm gonna just, I don't have very much paint here. You can see this. I'm gonna dip this in here, just kind of like that. I don't have very much paint on here either. And I'm gonna go right here, and I'm just gonna swirl it off with my brush, like that. So I do, um, this swirling technique is what I do, and I am not immune to paint bleeding. So if you guys think that I don't ever have that issue, um, it's just not true. Um, sometimes it happens, and um, if you can see what I'm doing, can you guys see that okay? I am just kind of swirling lightly around on this, and my board that I'm using is a little bit rough, um, you can you can also, if you prefer, you can do the stippling straight up and down technique. It creates a little bit of a different look that sometimes you have to kind of come back and fill in. But um, it also lends to um, like a different look if you if you do want to do some ombre or shading or blending or something like that. Um, it's also kind of cool because you can see I just kind of created this speckled look with not very much paint right there. And you can see where my swirling technique was. But that is how little paint I have on my brush, you guys. So um, it, it just doesn't take much paint. So I'm only laying this down to kind of cover up the rest of my stencil there. And um, I'm gonna show you, 
I'm going to kind of go like this right over that. And I'm keeping my fingers there. I had somebody message me the other day and, and they were kind of struggling with um, bleeding under their stencil. Um, I will tell you, if you're using the brushes, just slow down. Don't go fast, especially if it's the first time that you're doing it, you guys. Um, I totally crack up about the very first time that I was stenciling. Um, it's not a race. First of all, keep that in mind. It's not a race. You're not, you're not racing to get your project done. Um, I get that if you're making it for business and you've got 50 signs to make, that you feel a little bit rushed. I understand that. But I promise you, you're going to save time in the end. If you slow down a little bit and um, take your time. Patience, patience, patience. <laughs> so um, thank you, thank you, thank you, you guys. Um, so now whenever I come back here, I'm going to just show you. This is just a foam plate, cheap. Um, I'm going to dip not back into here. I'm going to go right into here where I swirled all of that paint off. So I'm going to just do this. I'm going to get not very much paint on here. Um, I'll show you how much, how little paint I really have on my brush. And it's not, I mean, other people have so many techniques and so many tips too that are great. So, um, but look, see whenever I push this on here, you can hardly see. There's hardly any paint on my brush. Honest to God. So, I'm going to take, I've got about the right amount. You can tell that if you, if you pounce your brush up and down and you really have to kind of push, you probably have the right amount of paint. So, I'm going to take now and just lightly swirl. And yeah, you're going to probably get paint on your hands and that's okay. Um... I'm just kind of going over my A for baby it's cold. You can see that I'm just taking my time. So the very first time that I stenciled, um, I think it was the welcome stencil the from here, from Essential Stencil. And I got that in the mail. You guys, I was so excited to stencil. And I think what is so common, I think that some people really think that um, you can see here, I'm pulling again right here from this offloading pile. I'm not even going back in here yet. And I'm on my third letter. So um, I think that sometimes people think that stenciling is so easy. These are not the vinyl stencils. Um, these are reusable. So these are going to, you can use these over and over and over and over. Um, I have yet to find any of mine. I've had some of them for two years um, that are bad in any way that I cannot use. I have taken care of them. But um, something that, you know, I, I was just getting ready to say, I think that people think that stenciling is easy. It's not easy, you guys. Um, I mean, it's it makes for a great, simple way uh, but if you're first starting out, um, it's not something that is just super easy that you should be a pro at the very first time that you do it. The very first time I did it, I'm going to show you what I was doing. I took my, I didn't have these brushes. Um, I took my paint. I probably have way too much paint, even though in the packaging, Essential Stencil sends you everything that you kind of need to know in their packaging. Um, they have these amazing little guides, and they talk about offloading, they talk about wood prep, um, they come in every stencil. I have so many of these. So, they give you a lot of help right here, then they have all of us on doing videos. But, um, the one thing, I messaged them whenever I first started, and I was like, oh my gosh, I don't know what I'm doing wrong, and you know, they were like, patience slow down slow down so um i would tell you to just slow down because the very first time i think i thought man i'm gonna knock this welcome sign out in like five minutes this will be easy and i was like oh you know like stenciling like a maniac i think i was pouncing up and down i was going fast and i was like 
Yeah, that looks kind of bad. So you can see here, whenever I pull more paint into my brush, I still, I go over here and I get very little, and I come back over here, and I swirl it off again. So um, you can see that. And if you prefer the um, stippling, which is like kind of the pouncing up and down, you can do that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and swirl because I feel like I like that technique and it just depends on what I'm doing or what part I'm covering. Just watch the edges of your stencils and um, you know, you can kind of see uh, as you go around them that you know, if you don't have too much paint, it shouldn't bleed. Um, I'm not gonna say that you might not have an occasional spot that you just need to take a little tiny brush and touch up that edge if it really bothers you. So, um, and I'm just barely pulling any paint there. You can see I've hardly touched this pile. This might be enough for my whole sign. So um, keep that in mind. I see some of you asking about canvases. I haven't used um, these on canvases, to be honest. So um, I, uh, I use all of our wood from our sawmills. So I'm not really always good about using other items, but I know I'm sure they can be used on canvas. Um, I'm pretty sure you could use them with a fabric paint, paint as well. So keep that in mind. Um, I haven't done the fabric paint um, and I've wanted to. I've wanted to take some of them and do them on fabric. So um, yes, if you are having and you are struggling, um, first of all, I would tell you to check, check what kind of paint you're using. Honestly, um, sometimes if you have a glossy paint, um, I have, I can tell you, I have noticed that as well. Sometimes the glossy paint tends to be a little bit thinner, or I think I have more problem with the glossy paints um, bleeding a little bit, and they don't always cover as well. So um, anyway, that's something to keep in mind too. Um, I don't use a lot of glossy acrylics. Um, if you like that look, you might consider going back over um, after you have stenciled. So um, anyway, there's that. So I've got my baby done and I'm just gonna take my, um, and we'll take that off and we'll take a look at it. It's gonna look cute. And you can see, um, I've got some glitter on there. But there, there's my color. So that's gonna look cute. So now, um, Deb, our sub cell went great. It was good. We had a beautiful weekend for it. We had good weather. Um, Someone just asked if, also if I use chalk paint. I do sometimes use chalk paint. Um, if I do, it's usually Waverly, which I get at Walmart. So I like that brand a lot. Um, so now I'm gonna line up my its, but I'm gonna turn my sign around. I'll turn it back around for you guys. <laughs> yeah, I like that color too. That was a good choice, you guys. They were super close in color, but I gotta turn this around to space it so I can get it where I want it. Baby, it's okay. And I'm just using some tape. I think you guys know that I get my tape um, at the Dollar General. We have a little Dollar General here in town and I typically have painter's tape, um, but this is masking tape. I like the painter's tape, um, but they didn't have it the last time I was in there, so I got masking tape again. And Mm, it's okay, but on the wood, it sometimes doesn't stick real well. So, okay, I've got baby it's. And I think as I'm sitting here, I might do the cold in a different blue. I might do it in my dark, dark blue. Um, we'll see. I'm going to think about that. So I'm just taking this again and I'm just kind of covering up what's down below so I don't accidentally go on there. Um, a lot of times with my brush, um, I have a little bit more control and I'm not always as messy. Sometimes if I'm using a roller, I might just roll right over it accidentally. So I like to lay this down to, um, to just make sure that um, I'm not going somewhere that I, that I don't want to go. <laughs> so, okay. I've got baby, and now I'm gonna do its, and I'm gonna do the same color. And you guys can see here, I have just a little bit of paint, and I'm gonna just offload that with some swirls. And I'm gonna go, oh, there's my husband, you guys. 
He just walked in, so he can come and say hi. They were asking about you. Wow, I was away. So I told him I didn't know if they would see you or not. But he just showed up. So I am going to go ahead and swirl my word it's. Videos do get you to think out of the box. There's Bucky. Hi there. He's gonna say hi. There you go. He's been he's been cutting wooden tags. So if you have asked me about wooden tags, um, we are gonna put some bundles together for um, for shipping. So just keep that in mind. Um, watch our page. Hopefully we will get them um, up on our page soon. So. Bear with me, be patient. Um, we've got a few different sizes that we are gonna offer and we will be able to ship out. So I will get prices um, out and you'll probably see a post about it. So there's everyone saying yeah, hi, Bucky. Yeah, I know, I see that. <laughs> yeah. I'm missing these day ones. So it's hard for me to get here. Yeah, that's what I told him. You were busy yep. helping me, kind of. Yes. Getting some tags ready. So everyone's saying hi. That a girl, you go in those tags. <laughs> I'm trying. We're trying. Um, what happened with the tags was um, we've got some different sizes in our shop, and um, the the stencil tags from Essential Stencil are a little bit smaller than what we have. So we wanted to make sure we had some of those to go with everything that everyone's going to be getting. Um, from the pre-order, if you pre-ordered the tags, so. Um, Becky, why did you want this cold weather? Ugh. <laughs> I didn't want it. Yeah. None of us wanted it. Ugh. It is really pretty. It's just not pretty for I guess. <laughs> the end of October. Not yet. So, nice to see you. Yeah. Ashley, you can definitely um, private message me over on our sawmill page with um, questions if you have questions for me. Um, I know I, that a lot of you are commenting and um, usually Bucky is in here helping me with the questions and I'm not always able to see all of the comments. Anita said my husband gets to buy. Ooh, you know Anita was, said her husband was buying tools because she was buying wood. Uh -huh. She said her husband gets to buy $40 more <laughs> in, in tools. So you spent more than your husband, huh? He can't be mad about that. But now you're gonna make a profit probably with your signs, Anita. What's I mean? I you're, he's just gonna have to help you with his wood tools. He's gonna have to buy some tools that that you can use too, like maybe a little sander and some stuff like that. Okay, so I've got my it's done. Okay, will the wooden tags be thin or thick? Um. How thick are those wooden tags? Do you know? Um, I don't know. Ours are thicker. Um, they're not, uh, what are they? The big ones are three quarters. They're, so the larger size are three quarters of an inch thick. So they're a little bit thicker. Um, ours are cut out of pine from our sawmill and they're all kiln dried. So um, hopefully that answers that. And the smaller ones are thinner than... I think they're about half an inch. He thinks maybe they're half inch thick, so... Five um, inches <laughs> I've missed you. I'm in... I'm a winter Texan now. Oh, Gwen. I don't want to hear about Texas. <laughs> oh. Actually, I do. Tell me about the sunshine and how warm it is, because it's not here. Okay, so I've got baby it's. We're gonna get this done. So there's my it's. And I'm just eyeballing that. I'm not measuring any of it. <laughs> Anita, you do that. You play it back. Okay, so I'm gonna put cold outside on there. Baby, it's cold. And I kinda gotta measure to see where my outside needs to go because it's a little bit longer, so I'm gonna kind of eyeball that. Oh yeah, we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good. Okay, so how many of you think I should do my cold in the navy blue, like the dark, dark blue? 
You guys think I should do the dark blue and do um, the navy and do the word cold? Give me some likes and hearts if you think I should do that. If you think I should use um, and put the cold, the word cold in the dark blue, um, let me see some hearts and likes. Dark, everyone's saying dark, dark, dark. Okay, there they are. Yes, in darker blue, dark or ombre. Boy, the ombre would be cool. Um, we could try it, you guys. Um, I've not done it. So, mm -hmm -hmm. I'd have to go pull another lighter blue, I think. I'm not sure about the ombre, just because I color cold in a different color. So yeah, you do need to let your, um, your paint dry. Um, because I'm not using very much paint at all, this, this is dry. So it, you know, if you are having issues with your stencil, um, having a lot of paint there to dry, use less paint, I would tell you, okay? Um, I would tell you to, if, uh, if you're looking at your stencil after you get done with it like this, and you've got a lot of paint on here, use less paint, okay? Um, because you can get away with it. You can get away with a little bit of paint. Your, my paint, typically whenever I stencil, almost always, is uh, there's so little on there that that acrylic is dry like that so I like the dark blue everybody likes the dark blue how do you do ombre I've not done ombre but um, you know we can try it I can try ombre I'll use some um, I'm gonna prop this up for you so you can see I'm gonna just use some stuff to prop it up underneath here um, but I've got to go pull another, um, let me check to see. Um, someone's asking about shipping something and I missed it. Um, I'm going to go pull a couple of other blues, I think. If I'm going to try ombre, then, um, I'm going to have to use a couple of, I think, different colored blues. So, um, let me, let me go, let me go grab a couple of blues and I will be right back. You can talk to Bucky for a second. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No? No, I'm good. What? I'm all dirty and nasty. They don't know that. Yeah. Well, I tried to give Bucky the camera, but he didn't <laughs> want to. So. <laughs> I'm good in the back. Okay, so I'm going to do, I'm just going to look at this for a minute. I'm going to look at my blues. I don't have a lot of good lighter blues. <laughs> well, you guys, I'm totally up for the ombre, but I'm just not sure I have the right colors to do. No, they were just asking about mom. Yeah, I told them. Oh, okay. I talked about your mom earlier. If you missed it. Um, I don't know what they said. Well, they ha there was a lot of people saying that they were keeping us in their prayers and they were sorry about your mom. So we talked about that earlier. Um, hmm, you guys, I am, I'm not seeing the right colors for this, really, to do it. So I think I'm gonna go with my my original plan and just use the dark blue. I'm sorry to be boring, but mix some white with the blue. Oh, yeah, I could do that. That's, um, hmm. I could mix some white with the blue and make it lighter. Okay, well, I'm, I can try it. Everyone's saying using use white, so let's just see what happens. We're gonna see what happens. So I'm gonna use a little bit of this dark blue, and it's just true navy, like this. It's Apple Barrel, Apple Barrel brand. <laughs> Someone's saying white is all I need. 
And I'm going to, I haven't ever done ombre before. So I'm gonna just try to, I've got my bright blue. I'm gonna put a little bit of this two blue out. And then I do have another blue over here somewhere that is midnight blue. And it's almost like a purple blue. So I do have my hanger stapled on the wood. I just covered it with some rope so you can't see it anymore. Okay, so I'm gonna, for this, I'm gonna try to use a makeup wedge. Somebody was asking about a makeup wedge. I feel like this is maybe where, where I need to use my makeup wedge. So ombre, I'm gonna start at the bottom with the really, really dark. And to use a makeup wedge, for those of you, this white paint is also dry. And I'm gonna use, I'm gonna start with this really, really dark, 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 um, what did I call it? It's called, that's not it. It's called Midnight, Midnight Blue. So I'm gonna start with that. So we're gonna see what happens. And I'm gonna just set my, my paint plate right there. So I'm gonna go down across the bottom part of this. And this is super dark. And you can see I'm just pouncing up and down on it with my makeup wedge. I've not ever done ombre, so We'll see what happens. Last time you guys had, um, <laughs> I know, um, had the, the truck idea and all the snow stuff and it turned out amazing. So that was so much fun, so why not, right? So I'm gonna kind of go around the bottom of this and I'm gonna start with that because I really don't know how to do the ombre, but I'm gonna start there because that's what I guess I would, I would try if I were telling you to try. So I'm using my makeup wedge and um, I'm gonna kinda just do the bottom part of that. And then I'll start doing some blending here before too long. And you can see, I don't have the bottom of this tape down. Um, because it's off of my board. So I'm just kind of going back over it, but I am using the makeup wedge. For those of you wondering about the makeup wedge, you use the bottom flat part and um, not the sides. So for those of you that have done ombre before, um, if you tell me what I'm doing wrong, <laughs> I, I should probably do it all the way across the letters. Well, I'm going all the way, I'm trying to go all the way across um, just on the word cold, and I'm kind of doing the even, like the dark at the bottom, and then I'm gonna go up with the lighter, I think. So I don't know if that's how I'm gonna do it or how I should do it, but um, I'm gonna try to blend it up a little bit as I go, if that makes sense. So maybe I'm using the wrong sort of like shading actually, gradually, okay. Lighter blue in the middle, mm. well, that's a good idea. Yeah. That is a really good idea. Okay, I like that. And someone said to do ombre, you just kinda like, okay, so maybe the ombre, I'm totally thinking of it wrong. You go on up the word with it getting lighter as you go up, would be ombre. I think. Is that right, you guys? Um, I think there's so many different ways you can do ombre. Whenever I think of it, um, I think of it in so many different colors or different ways. Um, I'm, I don't know. I, I do like the idea of doing the lighter blue in the middle. I kind of like that idea. So I'm going to try that, actually. So I'm going to go ahead and fill this in a little bit more. And I'm just using this midnight blue is what it's called. And it's borderline purplish, but it's, it's dark. So, okay. Yes, lighter as you go, lighter as you go. Okay. Yes, everyone is telling me, okay. All right, so you either go up or down with ombre to do the lighter. Okay, that makes sense, you guys. Thank you. I am, I am not an ombre, um, you can tell I've not done it before. So, like I tell you guys, there's, um, 
You don't know until you try. So you've probably seen this trick before. I'm gonna cut the end of my makeup sponge off. And my scissors are a little bit dull, so I'm gonna have to go a little bit more. So now I've got a clean sponge. So I'm gonna use this for that lighter blue. So I'm gonna go ahead and do what somebody suggested and I'm gonna do this middle, this lighter blue that I've been using. And I'm gonna see what happens. We're gonna see if we like it. And I think it'll look good. So I'm gonna just make a little middle section. I'm not taping anything off. I am gonna hold this over this little snowflake on the edge here because um, I don't wanna do that. So either dark to light or light to dark is ombre. Thank you guys, thank you. Um, obviously I was gonna do that, but now I'm gonna try what somebody else suggested and I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna drop this blue in here and I'm just using a makeup wedge. So I'm gonna try to drop it in the middle there. No rhyme or reason to measuring. Um, I'm just, I'm just doing it. We're gonna see what happens. Um, I like that suggestion. Did you tell the names of the color blue you used? Um, I did, I am using, this one is um, bright blue is the one that I'm using for the whole sign. And that's the one I'm using right now. Um, it's called Bright Blue. And um, you can also see with my makeup wedge, you guys, I'm not dipping right into this big blob. I'm dipping over here where I've offloaded. That's how, um, that's how I get very little paint on my, even my makeup wedge that I'm using. So I'm gonna do that. And I'm gonna keep going across here. And we're gonna see what happens. I think that's gonna look good to tie that blue in. That was a good idea, whoever suggested that, I like it. So I'm gonna keep going. Um, the other blue that I'm using is called Midnight Blue. This dark, dark color is called Midnight and it is a folk art paint. So I will um, definitely, I know Essential Stencil can send out that list of the colors that I've used, um, the makeup wedges, stuff like that. Um, the makeup wedges I get at our local Dollar General. So, um, uh, the acrylic, a lot of my brands, they vary. I have Americana, I have Deco Art, I have Apple Barrel, Folk Art, um, just kind of, I kind of pick whatever, whatever I like, or if I find something on sale that's clearanced out, sometimes I just, I picked that too. So I don't have a favorite. I would say in the acrylic, um, I don't really care for the glossy paints. Um, a lot of times I think that they end up looking really pretty, but as far as coverage, the glossy acrylics are kind of hard on coverage. So I, I don't really care for them. They seem to be a little bit thinner. So whenever you're picking up acrylics, you just might watch that. Um, is that's just a suggestion possibly blend in between the colors with the brush yeah I I could do that with the brush after I get all done maybe I will I'm gonna we'll pull it off and see what it looks like and we'll see what we think um, I'm not sure if I'm even across there I'm pretty close I think to being kind of even through that and um, I'm gonna take and I'm gonna cut this off again I'm gonna use a little bit sharper scissors and you can see here, I'm just using one makeup wedge, which is fantastic, and there's no cleanup. So I can just throw this away whenever I'm done with it. I just cut the end of it off, and I'm gonna use that again. So I'm gonna shake up and get a little bit more of that midnight color paint. It doesn't take much. Yes, I agree that it would probably need to be blended if you're gonna do um, ombre. I haven't ever tried the ombre. I think there are some people that have. So um, I'm really just kind of sandwiching these colors in. I think you might want to blend it more. I might want to. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try this and see what happens after we get this done. Um, I'm gonna just pull it off and we're gonna take a look. It's really hard sometimes to know until you um, pull it off how it looks and then if there's something that you don't like about it you can always go back and um, either place your um, 
uh, your stencil back over it, or you can, um, you know, do a little bit of hand painting with a little bit of a little brush or something. I don't know how, how's that going to look? I think it's going to look neat. I think it's going to look good? It's hard to tell. There's a little knot there, so it's kind of hard to get the paint over that. But we're going to try it. It might look a little bit messy. <laughs> I know. I will, we're going to see what mine turns out, how it turns out. Um, and you can tell I'm not really, you know, not being real neat about it, you guys. Um, I sometimes am a very neat painter and get a little bit uptight like everybody about what I'm doing. But for some reason, whenever I'm on here with you guys, it just kind of goes out the window and I just kind of wing it and it usually turns out great. So, <laughs> um, whoever suggested this, I think it's, it's a really good idea. And the makeup wedge is um, maybe something that would actually work really well for doing the ombre because you seem to have some pretty good control with it. And then, um, like somebody else said, you could always take the brush and kind of blend these colors if you want to um, so that there's not such a hard stop. But I think once I pull it off, it's going to look kind of cool. So we're going to see what happens. Um, you know me and glitter. If there's something that um, doesn't look right, I always add some glitter and it kind of just takes care of things. So you can't usually go wrong with glitter. Um, especially with snow. So, love the word wing it. <laughs> yeah, that happens a lot. I mean, you don't know until you try sometimes. So, we're gonna, I, I like the suggestion and I thought, well, let's just see what happens. So it's, I, I did learn though, you know, like the ombre, I've seen ombre, but whenever you're trying to do the ombre, it's kind of hard to know how it'll, how it would look or how to do it. So I'm going to have to try that sometime. Sometime we'll try the ombre. Um, and maybe we can do um, a video on that and we can learn it together so that if you're new to it, then you can watch me. And if I mess up, it's me messing up and not you. <laughs> oh, I haven't seen any new glitter paint yet. Um, I haven't been shopping for paint for a while, so um, I I like a lot of the glitter paints. I just sometimes am not um, sure about using some of them. Some of them I've used have been so thin that they don't show up so well. So sometimes I have to kind of do something under them and then use the glitter paint. Glitter paint. So I'm, I'm anxious to see what, what kind of glitter paint maybe you're talking about. If there's something I haven't seen before. Okay, so I think I'm gonna just pull this off of here. I'm kind of... Like do what? Dry brush some white like that on it. Like oh, I might might whenever I get done. My husband just said to dry brush some white. You teach him. Never scared to try myself. Well, good. Okay, so we're going to see how this looks, you guys. Oh, I think it looks cool. That looks awesome. And I think Bucky might be right. I think if I dry brush a little bit of white over that, I think that that's going to look neat. But you can see. Can you guys see that okay? Whoa, I just went high. Really high. So it just looks like the blue is going right through it. That looks cool. And I know that the the um, the dark part might look black on your end. Um, it's really dark, dark blue. So you could probably get away with even using a navy blue or a black, but it looks cool. It looks really good. I actually really like that. Pretty cool. I like it. So the rest of the word is going to be the same blue. I'm going to go ahead and do outside out here. That looks good. That does look good. I like it. I like it. I like it. Yeah, that was a great idea. And like I said, you know, sometimes I'm pulling off that stencil, if I wanted to do something else with it, I could always put it back on, um, especially if I hadn't taken it all the way off. Sometimes you can do... Um, 
you know, a little bit of lifting and look at it. And if you don't love it, you can put it right back down and you can keep going. Um, but yeah, it turned out, I like that a lot. I think it turned out super cute. So good suggestion. So I'm gonna turn it around and I'm gonna, um, I've got some stuff laying under here, but I'm gonna go ahead because like I told you guys before, um, if you have um, very little paint, this is already dry. It's even dry. It did turn out really cool. So I can't wait to see it finished now. So I'm gonna put my word outside on here and we're gonna finish this off with the words and then I'll add the snowflakes maybe here and there. And um, that'll turn out cute. I don't even know how we're doing on time. I haven't even paid attention. You're an hour and a half. <laughs> Ooh, yay. Yeah. Huh. Hour and a half. Sorry, essential stencil. <laughs> hour and a half. I don't I don't want to get anybody put into Facebook jail for being on too long. That's for sure. Oh my. Um, okay, so I'm gonna put the word outside on here. And we're gonna do it in the blue, like I just did. Oh yeah, the truck on the other side turned out. It is crazy. It's backwards on your video, Renee. You're not crazy. Um, I'm gonna turn this back around. I think it'll still be backwards, but um, if you watch very many of my videos, I know it might be a little bit annoying. Um, I need to upgrade my phone because I don't have a, a camera. So um, that, that will let me flip it around. So that's the problem with the backwards stuff right now is that um, I don't have, I have an old phone. It's a very old phone. So I'm going to try to put this here so that you guys can see that. Okay. And I'm going to go back to using um, my brush and I'm going to kind of cover this up so that I don't get any on that. And um, we're gonna finish out this sign with this blue that I've been using. Um, same thing, back to this. Um, no, it's not your phone. I wish it was your phone and not mine, but it's not. Um, so I'm getting all my paint offloaded over in this little area over here. And I'm gonna go to my letters and I'm gonna start stenciling those. Glitter the snowflakes, yes. Um, Renee, I just took and um, took the rope and I just started wrapping. I wrapped it around is really what I did and I've got probably a little bit of hot gluing to do on that rope to make sure it stays on there. But um, that's all I did. I just wrapped the wire hanger with a little bit of um, thin rope and it, it'll cover it up. And then around where the, um, the ends of the, the hanger are, um, I'm gonna probably tie some, some ribbon of some sort and let it just kind of hang down if that helps. This stencil pack is super cute, you guys. Um, what I love about it is that it's not just Christmas. Um, it's like all winter long signs. So if you haven't, um, if you haven't done any just winter stuff, um, you can keep this out. That's what's super cute about it on the other side too, with the Christmas tree and the truck. Um, that's kind of more of a Christmas sign, but this, um, the winter sign, um, baby it's cold outside. This one also comes with, um, what did I tell you? Uh, Merry and bright, and then um, let it snow. So it's got two, what I would say, winter signs in it, and they're all bigger. Um, I like the bigger sizes. Uh, you can make some bigger signs with those. Um, so that's just something to keep in mind. If you haven't ordered this set, there are three of them. And what would I sell this for? With both sides finished, I knew somebody was gonna ask me that. Um, I, let me think about that for a minute while I finish this because um, my smaller signs that are double-sided, that are like the project pieces, um, I'm probably gonna price for 30 to $35, depending on what I'm doing to those handles. Um, this one, uh, it's a little bit larger. I would probably put it for 40 to 45, I would say, um, in our shop. And um, I, I think that um, it's one of a kind. 
it's something that, like I said, I'm gonna finish the top. It's gonna have some ribbon on it, so that if somebody wants to buy it for a gift, um, you know, I don't know, 40, 42, probably right around in that price range would be what I would consider selling it for in our shop here um, or online. I, I don't try to overprice things and I don't try to underprice things, but um, I do try to, um, you know, make it affordable yet make it worth uh, what I think it's worth. So hopefully that helps. Yes, it's, um, it is homemade and um, it's one of a kind. You're not gonna be able to go to Hobby Lobby and find one of these, um, which I love Hobby Lobby, so I can't say anything bad about that. But sometimes if people are looking for a one of a kind gift, um, I know, you know, if I'm shopping, I would really like to rather get something that somebody else isn't going to have or be able to go get themselves somewhere else. So sometimes if I find a little shop that maybe makes something that is uh, unique and one of a kind, that would be my choice of gift, would be not something from a big box store um, that they can go and get anytime that they want to. So it's just, I don't know, you know, pricing is hard, especially whenever you're pricing your own things, sometimes it's hard to do. But um, I would say by the time I get done with each side, I probably have an hour and a half maybe on each side easily and then if I seal it and I dress it up for the hanger I think it's it would be worth 40 to 45 dollars long answer to a short question sorry <laughs> well you could make them with your kids too for special gifts oh yeah yeah your kids could help you make these as well so if you were gifting them to grandparents and stuff like that um, they're you know then they're kind of invaluable if you're if you're gifting them if you're making them to sell at different um uh you know craft fairs like this month and stuff like that one of the good things about this stencil specifically that i'm using like i said is that maybe it's cold outside um it can be used all winter long so as opposed to you know just the christmas season if you've got some of the christmas stencils coming your way um, these winter ones are just really, uh, really nice to have on hand to um, keep out all winter long. So you're going to be able to keep this out, obviously, from like now here in Missouri, November, since it's already snowing, October, <laughs> to, um, you know, January, February, March. It's still cold and winter into March here. So this is what it looks like. I know it's backwards, but look how cute that turned out with that, that same blue running right through the middle. And um, I am gonna add some glitter. So I think everybody, Fran, has a hard time pricing, um, pricing stuff. So um, there are several things just to keep in mind, but also I tell people, you know, where, wherever you're at, whatever you're selling, um, if you want to sell it, price it to sell. If you are okay packing it up and bringing it back home with you, I mean, you can always come back down on your prices. So I would, I would tell you to err on the side of a little higher. If you think you would pay $15, you should maybe start at 22 to 25, um, something like that. So that's just a suggestion. You can take it for what it's worth. I didn't pick up on this one when I made my order. Now I wish I did. This, these, this is a three pack. Um, it has Baby It's Cold Outside, um, Let It Snow, and Merry and Bright. It's a super cute three pack. Um, what do I seal this one with? I seal all of our stuff with Thompson's Water Sealer. It's just kind of my go-to. I have it in a big jug, um, so I use it. It's not gonna hurt it to be inside. If you wanted to put it outside, this is what I use. And it's because that's what we have. So um, I, I like it, it's easy. Um, it doesn't yellow. People have asked about that. I've never had anything yellow uh, turn yellow. So, um, yeah, I am going to put some snowflakes on it, too. Um, if you want to hang out with me for a little bit longer, um, we'll put some snowflakes on it and see what happens. Because I think I will put... Um, <laughs> I'm going to take and I'm just going to hold it down. And I'm going to use that darker color behind because I think I'm probably going to add some of that dark here and there to um, 
to the snowflakes or just so it ties it in a little bit maybe. So I'm just gonna kind of randomly place those um, kind of wherever I want. And that's what's cute about the snowflakes. Um, and then I may or may not add some glitter. The other side already has glitter on it. So um, I might put a little bit of glitter. I don't have, I, I wish I had silver glitter. So I might wait, I was out of silver glitter. So I think I'm gonna wait on that. Um, for the glitter, because I think if I were to glitter, I would want to have silver, so. You spray and brush on. Yeah, I've used the spray on um, sealer, and um, this jug I have now, I, I brush that on with a brush, um, just a messy chip brush, kind of like this, and um, it goes on just fine. So, <coughs> yes, glitter, she said. <coughs> Well, I, you know, I think the only glitter that I have right now that would really work, it seems to be, is that, um, the white glitter. And I don't think it would show up as well. So I really think I'm going to wait until I get some silver glitter. Everyone's saying yes to the silver. I didn't find any gold. in there. What? Gold. Yeah, I don't think I want to do gold. I know I've got gold. I saw the gold glitter in there. I just don't, I don't think gold glitter. How do I apply the glitter? So um, let me tell you this. I take the glitter, I use Mod Podge, and I take a little brush. After I take my stencil off, and I go over whatever it is I want to glitter with the Mod Podge, and then sprinkle the glitter on. Um, I have done it before where I sprinkled it right over my stencil on the paint. <laughs> And you can do that, I don't recommend it. Um, then you have a glitter stuck mess to your stencil. So, um, which it cleans off, I'm not gonna say that it doesn't, but um, I think that the Mod Podge is more uh, effective at holding your glitter on. And yes, you can brush right over anything that you do with the Thompson's water sealer. I brush right over my glitter. Um, if you're more comfortable spraying uh, the glitter, you can always spray use the spray form of the sealer too. Um, some people, you guys, I've also used the Mod Podge spray to seal with. So there's one snowflake and that's gonna look cute. It just looks dark, but I think if I add some silver glitter to those, there's hardly any in there, isn't there? There's a little bit. There's a tiny bit. So there's one. Just to show them. Yeah. So I can show you real quick. Um, so I have a teeny tiny brush right here. And I've got Mod Podge. I haven't tried the Epsom salt for the snow. I have not done that. So I, on this snowflake, my Mod Podge is about glued shut. That's how much I use it. Um, I'm gonna get a little bit on my, just a regular tiny paintbrush. And since I have a little bit of silver glitter, I'm gonna show you on this. So um, let me prop this up a little bit, if I can. I'll hold it and I'll show you guys. So I'm just gonna take my Mod Podge, which is like glue, essentially. Um, and I'm gonna go on this and I'm just gonna kinda go over it and just put some glue on that. Can you see what I'm doing? I'm just kinda following my um, snowflake that I just stenciled. And I'm just slapping some on there. Nothing super neat. Doesn't have to be perfect because it's glitter. But I'm putting it on thick enough so that it's gonna stay wet um, once I uh, get ready to glitter it. So I don't want my glitter to dry. So I'm, I mean, I don't want my Mod Podge to dry. So I'm putting it on kind of thick. And then I'm not doing those little bitty dots in between. I'm going to just leave those. So that's how I do it. And then I'm going to shake a little bit of glitter on there. And we're going to see what happens. Make my board flat. So I had enough to do that one. And I'm just going to let it sit for a minute and kind of shake it around. But I think definitely the silver is going to look the best. Yes, that's Mod Podge. Um, that's what I was using. Um, yep. 
And I have used the super fine glitter. I think I have some somewhere in another color. I like the super fine glitter. So you can see how that turned out. Maybe you can see, I'm not holding it in a, there we go. See there? Easy, super easy. And that's, um, so yeah, if, if I drop some more of those on there, um, and I may have enough to do two or three others on there. So I'm going to, I'm going to probably use some on there that are not glittered as well. So I have a little bit more of this color here and there, but yeah, the silver is going to look good. I like the silver a lot. Yeah, it is cute with the silver. So that's just how I did it with a little bit of Mod Podge. And that's actually how I did um, my tree. You guys, if you've got a tree, the back of this has multicolored glitter. And I just took Mod Podge and I made some wavy lines along it, which there are already wavy lines. You could just follow the lines in your stencil. Um, I didn't, but, um, and then I just used multicolored glitter on that tree. And it just made it look like it had old lights on it. So anyway, that is, uh, what? No, I'm just You're just watching. looking at it? Yep. So there's a quick tutorial on the glitter too. So um, anyway, yeah, the silver is gonna dress it up and the glitter will make it pop for sure. Um, Mod Podge and Epsom salt around the edges. Huh, I haven't, I haven't tried that. Um, the little things that we use up here are called um, wire ties. And I just took some rope that I don't even know where it came from. It was laying on one of my tables. This is what it is. I used this. And I just grabbed it because it was laying there. And um, I just started wrapping it around my wire tie. And then I'm going to take where these little things are here and I'll probably um, clean this up and I'm gonna tie some ribbon here. So, yeah, glitter does give the bling. Okay, so I've been on here a very, very long time. So we've gotta do some giveaways. Um, if I say your name and you are a winner, um, I want you to make sure that you send, you comment winner you got the rebar ties, that's exactly what they are. Um, and so if I'm making something reversible, that's something that um, we like to show you guys, um, was that a good way to hang things is to use these wire ties. We get them in a pack at like Lowe's or Home Depot and um, we usually try to staple it on the top and then I dress up so it kind of hides it so, but they're very bendable, so you don't have to be perfect whenever you're hanging stuff either. So I, I like them. They're cheap. Um, they hold a lot. You can find them in the concrete section. They, they're used in um, concrete work to hold rebar together. So um, for the giveaway, uh, we are giving away three stencils. Um, Essential Stencil will choose what we're giving away. I don't know what they're going to pick. Um, it will be their choice. But if I say your name and you are a winner, what I want you to do is um, comment winner, your name, and your email, okay? So thank you guys for watching us today. Um, I'm glad Bucky got to come in and say hi too. Thank you for um, all of the sweet words about his mom and um, for our family. You guys are awesome. Uh, we appreciate you joining us at 11 o'clock on a Tuesday and uh, coming on to watch and all of the suggestions and everything. So thank you guys so much. Um, yes, Essential Stencil is awesome to do a giveaway. Um, they are always so kind to, to let us do that. So they, they do a great job. If you haven't tried their stencils, they are fantastic and they will help your business grow if you're trying to grow a business too. So um, this Francis is called a wire tie. Um, it's what we use to hang most of our stuff and you can find it in the concrete section or the concrete tie, it's called a wire tie. You can look in there in Lowe's or Home Depot and ask them about wire ties. And we staple them on. So if you guys have any questions, you can find us at Miller's Rustic Sawmill on Facebook. If you have not liked our page, please go like our page. We are so close to hitting 4,000 likes and I've been working a long time on that. Um, 
Also, uh, what else was I going to say? Oh, if you're considering joining the Stencil of the Month um, club from Essential Stencil. I do have a link for that too, and you can save $5 by using my code for um, the first month. Um, I am going to be on the inside of that group, so there will be some sharing going on, and um, it will be a fun group to be a part of. So um, let's get these winners picked. Um, where are we at? Okay, so I have a winner. Um, one of the winners is Suzanne Williams, you are a winner. Suzanne Williams, and congratulations to all of the winners. I think you guys are all winners. It's never easy to choose winners. Um, Suzanne Williams, if you will comment your name, winner, and email, Essential Stencil will um, send you, uh, they'll need your shipping information as well, but they will um, get in touch with you, and they will send you something of their choice, one of their awesome, awesome, um, uh, what's it called? The, one of their awesome stencils. So, okay, so I've got Suzanne Williams. I've got Vanessa Winzi, W-E-N-Z-I, Vanessa Winzi. You are a winner. And I have um, Ashley Van Ruswick. I don't know how to say your last name. Van Ruswick. Um, V A N. R-Y-S-W-Y-K. Vanessa, you are a winner as well. Um, did I say Vanessa? Vanessa Wensey, Ashley Vansrick, and Suzanne Williams. Those are my three winners. So um, that is what, yeah, there we go. Ashley, I think I was calling you Vanessa. I'm getting confused. Ashley, you're a winner. If you will comment your um, name, winner, say that I'm, I'm a winner and um, your email. Um, I will also post those three names in the comments. Uh, so if someone misses it, maybe they'll see it, So or it'll tag them. Um, and thanks to everybody for all the prayers. It's been a rough summer for us, so mm -hmm. thank you very, very much. Yeah, thank you. Um, what else, what else? If you're going to order, uh, the order, the stencils that I did today was a set of three. They are the larger stencils. It's Baby It's Cold Outside, um, Let It Snow, and Merry and Bright. So you can use my code or the link at the top of this video and save 10% on your order. So no reason to not use that and save some money. Um, I know a lot of you are at work. Thank you for watching at work and sneaking it in. Um, if you don't mind hitting the share, you can share this video. Um, thank you for all of the likes. Um, Robin, how do you order? I have a link at the header of this video. You can follow that link and you can order right there from Essential Stencil. If some of you get have troubles with the link or anything like that or you're just going to Essential Stencil's site, um, you can always use my code, um, which is MRS2019. So I'm going to put that in as well. I don't think I have that, but I, I will try to put it in the comments. And congratulations to our winners, you guys. Um, thanks for another fun sign. I will get this finished, and I will show it off um, the next time. We appreciate all of the kind words, all of the watching, all of the joining. Um, thank you so much for being on today with me while we made this. And um, I hope to see you Tuesday are going to be our days. So um, it's either going to be, we're going to try to alternate um, 11 a.m. and 8 o'clock at night. So um, definitely um, check us out on Tuesdays and, and follow us um, here on Essential Stencil. Come watch our videos or watch some of the replays and paint with me if you ever want to do that too. Um, thanks for watching and we hope to see you next time. Have a great week.